everyone my name is Ted Lin and in this video I would like to show you guys how to create the MD drawing sheets in Revit project file so before we do that firstly we need to have the master drawing list so currently I have the master drawing list and I already created and put it inside the create sheet folder so when master drawing is ready then we go back to the Revit then we're going to create a new Revit project file ok this is the new Revit project file so that we don't have any sheet so now what we're going to do is we go to ribbon then we click the manage palette and go to the virtual programming so in virtual programming palette, uh, panel you can see the dynamo player so this is the dynamo player uh, which only available at uh, Revit 2017.2 and above version so lower than 2017.2 then you won't see this dynamo player too I think so okay so Firstly, we're going to uh, browse the Dynamo code where I install. So, go to desktop, then go to that folder, then this is the placemat. Because I already uh, uh, browse my Dynamo code here. This is the Dynamo code that I created uh, for you know, creating MD sheet in the Revit project. So just click the play button to run the code. Okay, the after a while and there will be the one user interface dialog box will come up. So in this dialog box, firstly we have to uh, give the five path. So this five path is where my uh, master drawing list is located. This is the master drawing list. So select this one, then open it. Second thing is sheet name. So this sheet name is okay. This sheet name should be same as the sheet name inside the Excel file, inside the master drawing list file. So that we have to key it exactly same as Excel sheet name. So this is the case sensitive. So we have to for a bit then the third one is start row number so our drawing list started at row number three so we click three we have to key in three then sheet number f ah, sorry column sheet number is this one this one will be one this is the first column so sheet name or sheet title should be column two so we type it in two and set so another dialog box will come up uh, to select the title block. So over here only E1 title block is available, so we have to, to take it. But have to be make sure that at least one title block should be loaded into the project. If no title block, then this code cannot be run. Then that's it. So we we will have the five drawing sheet actually be the empty sheet. So which is same as the the, the, the drawing inside the master drawing list okay so now we have to add up the another drawing into the uh, sh uh, into the project to do that we have to add up the drawing inside the drawing list so we have to copy and there's copy one place it there level 2 so just change 0 to then copy down then save it so this additional this additional drawing we are going to add into the project save then 
close it uh, yeah, minimize it now what we need to do is we have to rerun again I'm oh, sorry before oops, sorry. before rerun what we need to do is we have to add the another title block so that we can have a chance to choose which title block we were okay so inside load go to the title block folder and we select all of it okay overriding so now we are ready to run the next row to add the drawings so the same the box came out to let us choose the master drawing this file then we have to key in the sheet yeah, sheet name then the third one come to the third one this is the, the start row number so our new list started at 9 so row number 9 so click 9 the rest are 1 and 2 then set when the selections of title block dialog box came out then this time round we can have more chance to choose which title block we want to use so I will use a 2 in this round then set value so we can have the another 5 drawing with the A2 title block first 5 drawings are using A1 title block 